What's up everybody? Welcome back to Lyrical Resonance, where we believe that where words fail, music speaks. I'm checking out a band called Bloody Wood. Never heard of them before. Uh, this song was actually suggested to me by my little brother, so shout out to Aaron. Um, really excited to dive into this. This song is called, uh, I'm going to try to get it right, G Viri. Um, I think that's how it would be said. I honestly have no clue. Um, but I don't know anything about this band. I know this is Indian folk metal, um, so I'm gonna check this out. Before we dive into this though, hit that subscribe button because where words fail, music speaks, and we wanna hear what it has to say. Don't miss out on that. Keep up with the videos. Let's dive in. Let's listen to what the music has to say. Interesting flute. Okay, hold on. I think I've seen some of these guys' videos um, like scrolling through Facebook and stuff. I think I've seen some of their stuff come through. If that's the case, I've heard a little bit and uh, was really impressed with what I heard. If that's what this is, I'm pumped to get into this. Let's go. Thank you. That line, we can get back up if we're still alive. Dude, I like that. We can get back up if we're still alive. Life can kick us and knock us down, but guess what? We can get back up. That is so cool. Oh, dude, I'm excited to see where this goes. So this are so good dude okay so here's what I mean when I say that where words fail music speaks this is what I mean they're singing and what I presume to be Indian um, and that's a language I don't I don't speak but man the words I love that they have the subtitles in there because it's so good um, I love that they keep that you know brave one live again this is this is just i could keep this is this is good this is good i'm gonna have to, i just have to keep listening i'm gonna try not to stop too much but this is just so good You've got 13 reasons for why you gotta go away. Here's three more reasons for why you gotta stay. Holy crap. That was... 
that was that was hard dude bloody wood <laughs> look I have um I've never watched 13 Reasons Why. Frankly, I've never been interested in it. I've heard um, I've heard it's good. I've heard it's terrible. I've heard it glorifies suicide and, and makes it seem like it's an option um, as payback. Uh, using it as like a form of a weapon or aggression. Thank you, 21 Pilots. But it's... Uh, that line. You've got 13 Reasons Why You Should Go Away. Here's three more for why you should stay. And, you know, the truth is, for every reason we can think of for why the world would be better without us, there is at least one, if not more, reasons why we should stay behind. Oh, man. And I get it, man. Sometimes life just sucks and it feels like there's no hope. But, look, as a Christian, the hope I have is not in anything this world provides. Because, let's be honest, we could try everything that the world provides and still hate our lives because the world doesn't always the world doesn't always provide what we really need and as a christian i believe that the thing that we really need is a relationship with jesus christ and outside of that nothing in this world is really going to bring us the fulfillment that we need um i want to read a little bit out of my bible and this is the first time i've ever actually done this in a video but i think it's worth doing this is in the book of ecclesiastes which is in the old testament often attributed to king solomon the thing that interests me is king solomon was one of the wealthiest kings of israel uh expanded the kingdom even even beyond what david had done and had like everything he could ever want riches fame wisdom all the women he, he wanted obviously but What's really interesting is what he says it all was, all was worth. Uh, the beginning of Ecclesiastes, it's chapter 1, verse 2. It says, meaningless, meaningless, utterly meaningless, everything is meaningless. And that was just, what? This is, this is a guy who's got, like, everything he could ever possibly want and he says it sucked in the next chapter chapter 2 verses 10 and 11 he says i denied myself nothing my eyes desired i refused my heart no pleasure my heart took delight in all my work and this was the reward for all my labor yet when i surveyed all that my hands had done and what i had toiled to achieve everything was meaningless a chasing after the wind nothing was gained under the sun dude it's like there's so much we could chase and pursue in this world but outside of a relationship with christ at the end of the day it ends up being just meaningless because without christ what's the point of it if we're just here for a test what's the point of it if, if we're just here just to live and then die, what's the point of anything we do? None of it has any real lasting significance. But when we find our identity in Christ and we hold on to the hope that we have in him, that he has a plan, that he is in control, that he hasn't forgotten about us, dude, I'm telling you, it doesn't make life easier, but it makes it, it, it gives you something to hold on to when crap hits the fan. And so it's just, please don't, please don't, Please, please, please don't kill yourself. You are so wanted and you are so worthwhile. Please don't do it. Please. <laughs> that's that's what I have to say. All right, let's get back into the song before I get into full preacher mode.
to say the name again. I'm going to try and get it right. Givere, I think, is how it said. Still probably getting it wrong, but this is so good, man. Oh, fly, brave one, live, brave one. This is, this is, oh, dude. That chorus is something so powerful. That dude's voice is amazing. And, and I, I still, I love the, love the dude with the flute. Just, this is so fun. from Albert Camus. I think I said that right. I apologize if I didn't, but it says, in the midst of winter, I finally learned that there was in me an invincible summer. Dude, yes. It is when we reach our lowest that we realize how strong we really are. Um, you can you can think you're strong. You can think you, you can last, but it's not until that's actually been put to the test that you find out how strong you really are. It can be in the darkest, coldest moments of your life that you find out that you are incredibly strong and can make it. This is really good. was awesome good grief Whew. i really like this line fight those internal storms and then it's going to go on to say and fly brave one i think this is just what a fun song Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that. This is something special. This is one of those songs that people just need to listen to. Um, and they need to listen with an interpretation of the lyrics if they don't speak the language. They need to listen with an open mind because it's so important. Holy cow. I'm glad I looked into this song. Aaron, thank you again, bro. Seriously. I'm gonna listen to this message they have. Video. G V Ray is a song about fighting depression and mental illness. We've personally lost family and friends over several forms of mental illness. And the fault lies partly in us because we fail to realize that these are actual diseases. They're not just states of mind or something like that. So our patrons and us decided to do something beyond just sing about it so we went ahead and we've bought 60 one-on-one -on -one counseling oh, sessions man. with professional counselors for anyone who wants to reach out these are one-on-one -on -one, one hour sessions on video or chat whatever you would prefer it's completely anonymous so if any of you or anyone you know is going through any kind of problem whether it be work family relationship studies career whatever it is just check the descriptions there's a coupon below you can head over to hopenetwork.in and get a free one hour session this is not sponsored by them we've bought these sessions for you huge shout out to prachi vash from hopenetwork.in for believing in what we want to do and becoming a part of it she's an amazing person and an amazing counselor and to our patrons guys i know we've been planning this for a couple of months it took a lot of time but here we are we did it hope you guys like the song man so not not only is this band writing songs about mental health and and whatnot, but they're also, <laughs> this is super cool, with Patreon, they have 
worked with their patrons to basically purchase a bunch of one hour sessions. I gotta go back a little bit because I wanna see. So they have purchased 60 one hour one on one counseling sessions for anybody that's struggling with mental health um, and, and depression and, and suicide. And dude, if that's not putting your money where your mouth is, I don't know what is. That is super impressive. Not only are they using their platform to sing about um, these real issues, but they're also saying, not only are we gonna sing about it, but we're gonna actively do our part to help get people the help they need. And this was just so cool, man. I'm so happy with this, man. This was, what a great song. I'm gonna, dude, I don't even care. This song gets a 10 out of 10. This was so good. And if you have, if you can't, if you don't feel something listening to this, I question whether you have a heart or emotions because, dude, that was, that was phenomenal. I'm gonna have to get into the rest of their stuff. I have to now. I, I don't have a choice. I have to get into this because, dude, this was so stinking good. G vera, very literal translation is "Live Brave One." I'm just I'm reading their description. It says a song that speaks about enduring and braving through a highly overlooked but rampant problem, mental illness. Goodness, dude, this was so cool. What a good, good band, good, good message, and I love that they're actually putting putting the work in behind their message rather than just saying, hey, this is a problem. They're saying, hey, it's a problem, and we're working to fix it. And that's something I say a lot as a Christian is that. Um, you know, if we if we see somebody that has a need and we have it within our means to meet that person's need, then as a Christian, we ought to be doing everything we can to meet that need. And that's 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 part of showing God's love to people and and just being a reflection of Christ and showing other people, hey, God loves you and He cares about you. It's reaching out and saying, hey, you know what? I see. I see you have a need. Not only do I see you have a need, but I'm going to confirm for you and acknowledge this is a real need, but I'm going to go above and beyond that because I can meet your need. And so please let me meet it. And it's just, oh man, that's what it's, that's what it is to be a Christian is to take care of people. It's to love them the way Jesus would love them and to, to be a reflection of who he is to the people who need to hear it the most. Yeah, this is good. This is so good. I'm gonna post a link to this video um, for Bloody Woods G Vire in the description. I might even pin a comment so you can just go straight to that video and watch it. I, I would ask you almost watch it before you even watch what I have to say because they're more important than anything I've gotta say. What Their message right now is more important than what I have to say. This was so good. Man, how good, how good. Aaron, again, man, thank you so much for pointing me out, uh, pointing this out to me, because I, this is so good. Um, and it really just it hit me harder than I was expecting it to, and it just for a minute I couldn't even think of what words I wanted to say. Man, this was good. I like it, man. Thank you. Um, but you know what you got to do. Let me know what you thought about it. What did you think of this song on a scale of one to ten? One being it was terrible. Ten being it was flawless. Tell me what you think. I want to know. Also, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button because where words fail, music speaks. And we just had a really good example of that. And we're going to continue on this channel to discover what the music is saying. So until our next video, you guys, as always, stay safe and be blessed. We'll see you soon.